What do we do to get your love? Yeah, I don't give you all I got, but it's not enough for you. Hey y'all, welcome back to my updated makeup routine. Here I use my Morphe angled brush that's also a spoolie to pretty much brush out my brows and get them in the right shape. Now I'm going in with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow and I use this all around my eyebrows to pretty much get it the perfect shape because you know honey, like whenever you're doing your brows, these are the parts that set it off. Like once you got these down good, like you're good. Since you're good. And now I'm going in with that same L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. And I'm pretty much just smudging that or blotting that all into my face, making sure that I get all the creases in the corners to make sure it's even and it matches really close to my skin tone. Now I'm going in with my LA Pro Concealer and I use the color Fawn. I think it's a really nice color contrast on a brown skin um you ask anybody they'll tell you the same thing so <laughs> it's a really nice color um so i go in and i blend that all on my cupid's bow my chin under my eyes on top of my forehead and i just make sure that it's all pretty blended out All right, now we're using my Zuri Contour Cream um, Chocolate Color in Newt. And we're going in on my high cheekbones with this, girls. Like, my cheekbones really pop whenever I contour it. So I like to give it that contrast that's a really chocolate tone so that when I blend all three of that in, it's a really nice balance to my skin, my brown skin, so. That's a tip, I would say. And now I'm just using it down the bridge of my nose, pretty much amplifying my shape, as well as giving me that really clean, sleek contour, bringing out that highlight. I know you see it. Now I'm going in with my MAC Blush Film Noir to pretty much seal that cream contour that I just did and it give me that more bronzed, bronzed look that I'm going for. I also added on top of my eyelids to give me that more chocolatey look and it's a very quick step. So if I don't have time for the playing games with the eyeshadow, this is what I do. Now I'm going in with my lights light brown and dark brown on that Sephora palette and I'm using it down the bridge of my nose to pretty much seal that cream contour and making sure that I'm blending out everything no harsh lines and I'm gonna finish it with this dewy finishing spray y'all this is the one this is like heaven sent because BAM look I'm glowing from matte to glowing Ooh. Honey. Now we're gonna go in and add these La Flair NY Mink lashes. And I'm going to apply my eyelashes off camera. So now I'm going in with my MAC highlight and gold deposit. And this is literally the bomb, y'all. Like, look at this. Look at that glow. That's a serious glow, y'all. I, I have glown up, period. Honey, yes. <laughs> so this is the look and I love it. Now I'm pretty much using a Real Technique Beauty Blender. 
kind of just blend it all in, even all out, but it's a, it's gonna give you the look you're looking for at the end of the day. Now we're going in with the coconut milk anti-breakage serum, and I apply this all over my head, and it smells great. So I'm gonna go in with the blow jar, like I'm gonna blow this girl out because I love the brushed out, blown out look, like, this is coarse hair, it's RPG hair, and it's yakky, straight. So it looks like it's mine, honey, but it is. Now I'm going in with my H&M Clear Gloss. I already lined my lips with MAC Chestnut. And girl, this is the nicest little look. Like I look like a little Nubian queen right now. Like, sis, we are done, we look good, and yes! Now, moving on to the outfit, here we got an H&M fit, literally. The shirt, the skirt, and the hat are all from H&M, and the bag was vintage, but boo, toss it with the jacket, and you are ready to go.